The creature is said to be around six feet tall and weigh between 400 and 700 pounds, so definitely not something you'd want to run into in the middle of the night. You're listening to the Junior Birdman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Junior Birdman Podcast. I am your host, the Junior Birdman. We're going to wrap up our series this week on U.S. myths, legends, and monsters. But before we do that, let's get an update on sports with Steg. Yes, we are wrapping up the week of sports with some amazing highlights like this one here. Look and what an amazing play. Now if you look at this highlight, the man is coming, here's another man here, and here is another, and there is another great play by this man. Now we see in this video, the man, there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of action, and here comes, yes, there it is, the great play, again, amazing. What we have on the screen now, the amazing scores going into the amazing weekend ahead of amazing spots. Thank you, Stag. Let's get a look at the roadways out there with our Hawk in the Sky, Ethan. Ethan. Good afternoon, Birdman. Congestion filling up our Friday afternoon southbound lanes of I-3 and causing major delays about 30 minutes if you're heading that way. Be sure to plan accordingly. If you're headed towards the suburbs, there's a stalled vehicle off the exit. Bang! Off of I-S Flint's Road and Lamb Lane, causing some backups. Emergency crews on the scene, but likely to cause delays for the next hour or so. Usual delays around the airport. Give yourself plenty of extra time. Stalled vehicle on around the exit of Lamb Lane, causing delays out there on the west side of the city. A major accident off of I-6 Lamb Lane, causing delays. Multiple cars involved in that one. Emergency crews on the scene there as well. This is Ethan the Hawk in the Sky for the Junior Birdman Podcast. Thank you, Ethan. Let's get a check on weather with Tucker. Tucker? There is an easy answer to all of this. You get up, you go outside, and you look at the weather for yourself. How am I supposed to know what the weather is like in your area? You can tell. I don't know. Thank you, Tucker. We'll be right back, folks. Do you need live updates on news, weather, sports, and traffic impacting your area? Well, tune into the Junior Birdman podcast anyways. We don't cover any of that stuff, but it's a pretty fun show. Welcome back, folks. We're going to wrap up our series this week on U.S. myths, legends, and monsters with our junior producer, Amy. Amy, welcome back to the Junior Birdman podcast. Thanks. Great to see you again. It's great to have you here again. So what have you got for us here on a Friday afternoon? Today we're talking about the Beast of Bray Road. Okay, that's interesting. Let's get right into it then. The Beast of Bray Road is a legendary creature that's said to roam around the rural parts of southeastern Wisconsin, described as a hairy, bipedal animal with a wolf-like head and pointed ears. Some people said they've even seen red eyes that seem to glow in the dark. The creature is said to be around six feet tall and weigh between 400 and 700 pounds, so definitely not something you'd want to run into in the middle of the night. It's also said to be incredibly fast, able to run up to speeds of around 40 miles an hour. The first reported sighting of the Beast of Bray Road was in 1936, but it really gained notoriety in the 1980s when a series of sightings were reported. One woman claimed to have even hit the creature with her car, leaving behind a dent and some hair samples that were later analyzed. Since then, there's been numerous sightings and reports of the creature. Some people think it's a werewolf. Some people think it's a supernatural creature. Some people think it's just some kind of reported unknown species. There have been several investigations into the Beast of Bray Road, including one by a paranormal investigator named Linda Godfrey. She even wrote a book about the creature and even created a website people can visit if they're interested. Whether or not the Beast of Bray Road is real or just a legend doesn't really matter. It's a spooky and intriguing story. And if you're ever in Wisconsin, you may want to go take a look around for it. But be careful, especially if you see some red eyes lurking in the darkness. I mean, I can imagine if I see red eyes lurking in the darkness, I'm not going to go approach. Amy, another great series. Great job on this series. Appreciate all your hard work on this and hope you have a great weekend. Thanks again. Great to be here. Bye. Thanks for joining us again this week. Make sure you join us next week when we have a whole new lineup. We're going to re-roll the dice and see what comes out. We'll see you then. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you for listening to the Junior Birdman Podcast. Be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell to be alerted when new videos are posted.